as we discussed in our earlier video we need to perform few steps to start using login controls like the first step is we need to set the authentication type as form authentication and the second step we need to enable roles what is that we need to do we need to enable roles and the third step is we need to create roles like we have admin and user and fourth step we need to create user and assign a role to the user next fifth step we need to go for giving access rights to the folders so we'll start all these things creating in our tool that is nothing but ASP.NET configuration tool so I can access it from here or I can go for website and say ASP.NET configuration tool now I have few tabs available here one is security another is application and one more is provider I'll go for security either from here or from this link I'll click on security I'll come to this security dot ASPX page so the first thing is I need to set authentication type so I'll click on select authentication type you see that by default it is set to Windows authentication I need to change it to forms authentication so I'll set as forms authentication done now first step is done second step roles are disabled roles are not enabled by default I need to enable the roles click on enable roles now roles got enabled I need to create the roles create or manage roles I'll click on create or manage roles and I'll be creating two roles one is admin say add role now role got created another is user and I'll say add role I have created two roles back now the next thing I need to create a user so I'll be creating a user username I'll say Peter password Peter one at the rate three Peter one at three email I can give anything so uh, let me give some valid email address so I'll give email address at info at Manzoor the trainer dot com security question say ASD and security answer ASD I can give I can give anything now I'm trying to create a user at the time of user creation itself I can assign a role I will say Peter is admin I'll say create user now one user got created successfully now I'll continue and I'll create one more user I'll create Jack the password is Jack one at three Jack one at three email address I'll give the same email address ASD ASD and now I'll say user create user done I'll click on back button now it will give the complete summary now I have created two users and two roles and for one role I can create n number of users it is not like you know for one role I should have only one user for one role I can have n number of users now my background work is done one more step is left out that we will do later on I'll close this now you should get a doubt that we have created all the users we have created all the roles where is that I'm storing all these things I'm creating a user means I'm storing it somewhere I'm creating roles means I'm storing it 
somewhere. So where is that I'm storing all these things? Just uh, right click on the project and say refresh folder. Do you observe anything? Yeah, we get ASP.NET DB database. So my Microsoft.NET is creating a database ASP.NET DB automatically. If I double click this, you can see all the tables and all the information available in this. There are few tables by default. This database got created automatically. In users, if I right click and say show table data, you can find both users available here. I have got both the users available, Jack and Peter. And I have roles table, right click, show table data. I have got both the roles available here, admin user. Users in role, the relation between user and role is available here. User ID and role ID, you will have both the things. So and so user has got so and so role. So this is done automatically for me with the help of ASP.NET configuration tool. Microsoft.NET is going to create this database. So my background work is done. Now I'll go for this login page. 